Chapter 4, Lesson 1, Intro to Functions Learning Target I can learn about functions. I can use functions to control movements in Alice animation. Let's watch our bunny animation. Functions Many times we need to ask questions when the program is executed, such as, is the color of the snow woman's head red? Now this question is about the color property. What is the distance between bunny and the hedge to make the bunny go to the hedge? This question is about moving a certain distance. What is the height of the hedge? This is again question about moving a certain distance. What is the width of the hedge? Again, this is the question about moving a certain distance. Now these are the questions and a function is used to ask a question to check for a value and then compute a value. Now when we take a look at our Alice environment in the methods panel, we will see a functions tab. In Alice, a function is used to get information we need. Sometimes the information that we need is about the properties of the objects. Is the grass green? We need the information about what is the color of the grass. So we can use the get paint function. If we need the information about what is the height of the hedge, we can use get height function. Sometimes we need the information about the relationship of one object to another, such as what is the distance between the bunny and the hedge. We can use a function get distance to. Just like procedures, Alice also provides some built-in functions that are useful in your procedures. A function computes and returns a value. A function does not perform an action. Functions also allows you to check certain conditions within the Alice world while an animation is running. Such as, you want to check if the bunny is colliding with the hedge. If you talk about functions, it always returns a value of a specific data type. Paint and opacity are the properties of an object, so it would return a property value. Get width, get height, get depth will return a decimal number. Get width could be 2.5, get height could be 4.1, get depth could be 9.2. Boolean value, it's either true or false. Sometimes in our animation we want to check if a collision is happening or not or the bunny is colliding with the hedge or not we can use is colliding function that will return true or false and the last data type is of string type get string from the user many times you want to ask the user what's your name and the user will type their name so overall when we talk about functions a function will return a specific data type the four types of data are property values decimal number boolean value and a string value calling a function we will use get distance to function to determine the distance between the bunny and the hedge so we'll go to our functions tab we would drag get distance to function and drop it in place of this one value now remember a function is always used with a procedure. You always have to call a function in your statement. That means your function will be embedded in your procedure. Now say for example if I want to use a function get distance to to determine the distance between the bunny and the hedge I'm going to drag and drop get distance to from my functions tab and put it in place of one. So in our statement bunny move forward one meter we replaced one with a function because we are not going to do the math for the bunny to move to the hedge we are just going to let the function get the information for us. So after I'm done my instruction uh, would look like bunny move forward this bunny get distance to the hedge. Calling a function embedded within the statement. A call to a function is embedded within a statement. The return value, distance value returned by the function is used as the value for the distance in the move statement. When we use this function get distance to the return value, the distance value that's returned by this function is used as the value 
for the distance in the move statement. So this function will get us a number, decimal number, and we're going to use that number in our move statement. Now get distance to this number could either be 3.5, 2.5, 1.2, any decimal number. Calling a function, collision detection. A call to a function is embedded within a statement. The problem is that the distance between the two objects is measured center to center. Center of the bunny from here to the center of the hedge here. And with our statement move forward this bunny get distance to the hedge will make the bunny collide to the hedge and the bunny would go all the way to the center of the hedge. Now we want to avoid this collision. The solution to this problem is subtract a small number from the distance. That means we are going to say bunny get distance to minus 1. Arithmetic expressions. Traditional math and formula computations are implemented as arithmetic expressions in a computer program. An arithmetic expression is a combination of operators and operands. It evaluates to a numeric value. Arithmetic operators are symbols that can easily be typed on a keyboard. Plus is for addition, minus is for subtraction, asterisk is for multiplication, forward slash is for division, and percentage sign is for remainder or mod. The modulus.